All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So today is an interesting video. I'm going to be going over all my crystals and basically talking about what I think is helpful for me. And this is going to go over PvP, PvE, Arena of Solaire, beginner crystals, and other stuff, alternatives, and everything. So now that we've gotten a bit of time, at least a week, to test out the whole crystal system. I've talked to a lot of friends. I've looked at like the DK Discord to see what they use. I've also looked at other discords and a lot of other places. So with that said, first of all, it's January 13 and Christmas music in this game is still going on. So uh, yeah, they need to fix that one. Um, but anyway, let's look at the crystals that I have and I'm gonna talk about some alternatives for people who don't have Garmoth's hearts and stuff in your thing as well. So look out for that. So with that said, this is moderately buffed. While I still have, I was just finished some grinding. So I want to show you like what it is and what I have. So basically all the attack, movement, speed, and crit. And those are the crit and movement speed we're going to be talking about a little bit later. So that's why it's important to know that these are all at five. Okay. And same with luck. So basically everything that matters attack speed movement and crit and luck or well less luck but crit movement and attack five all right so with that said let's talk about crystals for pve because i think there are a few options that i you could change in and out so this is what i have for pve um ultimately your goal for all of this is to get the garmoth's heart to unlock the extra two crystals in here. Uh, the middle crystal will always be the costume slot. So like, remember back in the day when you had to use the like coupon and then you put a crystal in your pearl outfit kind of thing. Basically that's that. And um, there's two options. You get movement speed or crit hit. And if you are full buffed, like villa buff and everything, uh, elixirs, your chances are your movement speed is or your crit is also going to be max so this is less relevant it's just kind of one of those things that you can get as a bonus if you aren't full buffed so just keep that in mind ultimately it doesn't really matter if you somehow can't hit five crit put a crit crystal in there um but anyway so pve uh the akrod ones are always just seven monster damage that's good um, and then we have the Rebellious Spirit Crystals. I think these are important because they just give extra monster damage. And these Corrupted Magic Crystals are more damaged. Now here's where things can change up. And I think I could do better, but this is just personal preference for what I like. So I still have Vipers in mine. I still have Special Evasion in mine. Um, Elkars. Vipers, and I also have resist, like resist crystals in a way. I have one adamantine and one giants. This was actually an, a test that I wanted, but I think I like it more because I grind a little bit at the higher end spots where accuracy is a little bit more important. Like um, I did my first hour at Crypt of Resting Thoughts the other day, and well, not first hour, maybe like second, but. Either way, it doesn't matter. It was very tough and it was stressful. So I know that place is very accuracy dependent. And even then, you still miss a little bit. So that's why I have that. And um, honestly, I just like the special evasion ones. I know for PvE, it's not as important. So here are some crystals that I would recommend for you guys if you were... Um, You, if you don't like care so much about resistances and um, like, and you just want straight damage and you don't care about accuracy and resistances, here's what I would go for. Uh, this one, the ancient magic crystal of, of fl crimson flame power. Now this one is straight up just five AP, but the reason why people use this one is because there's no limit to how many you can see. So it's like crystal group, no group. And the max number of equip equipable crystals has no limit. So basically you could put like six of them in there. And uh, that one is pretty important. And if you don't care about like 
survivability and you just want big damage, this is what you have. Okay, so with that said, let's talk about more crystals. So basically, you would you could take out like the resistance ones. You could take out accuracy if you want to. I I really struggle to take out accuracy. So even if you are a beginner, I think accuracy is a little important. Plus, it gives you ignore all resistances, and it's a little less relevant in PVE than it is PVP. But I mean. It's still pretty nice. And then special attack evasion. And this is more just survivability for high end. So I think it's good. But if you just want straight AP, you could fill all those slots. Okay. PvP. So this one, I actually have tested a lot. I've changed it. I've done testing in Red Battlefield. And we all know how like annoying that one is. So here's a little bit of a complaint. I know no one asked, but I wish they would have the objective one. So basically the current Valencia map. I like the objective mode. I don't like the Valencia map. The reasoning why is because rooftop campers is literally no punishment for them. And I just wish it was like literally just take the castle ruins map and then add the objective points on there and i think i would play that more or even the garmoth map that's like was dead on arrival just literally add points to there where it's just flat field with objective points i think i would like that too so i love the objective game mode i just don't like the valencia map um i've tested this in open world pvp red battlefield and I'm going to do more node wars and do more testing, but for the most part, it's a little bit different. So, as always, the Garmoth crystal slots, we have Alucas uh, for the PvP one, so the extra damage to humans, I think that's very important. Um, corrupted magic crystals are something I just use for Dark Knights in general. I don't know about other classes, but basically, Dark Knights are glass cannons. We just want more damage, so we use them. Um, this is the same thing. One adamantine and one giant crystal. And basically, if we look at it here, uh, this is what my stats look like. And it's stun, stiffness, and freezing resist, and knockdown bound resistance that are higher. And I personally notice that when I get CC, or like, when I die in RBF or something, chances are, the reasoning why is because me getting stiffness and then knockdown. And so I wanted a balance of it. Before, I would use two adamantines, and, like, I would get stun stiffness more often. And even if I don't get knocked down, it was just the incoming damage while I'm still stunned and stiff. So I wanted to balance, and that's why I like it. So, very optional. Depends on the class you play, but I think, for me, it works very well. Um, for PvP, uh, special evasion crystals in general. This is, like, best in slot for them, so you should always have two of them. It doesn't matter what class you are. You have them. Um, Swiftness Crystal, again, I actually do switch this out regularly and depending on what I'm doing. So, you could have, if you want to take this out, here's what the choices are. Crit or Movement Speed. And then for this slot, I have two Elkars. This is pretty standard. Elkars, people always run that. It's not even a new one. Um, everyone has run it. Accuracy, very important at high end. Ignore all resist. Getting your CCs out, very nice. And two Vipers, accuracy, once again, very important. And here's the different one that I used to use. So I use two Red Spirit Crystals right now because it's HP, AP, and extra damage to humans. So that's like, I think the way it works is they capped or they changed how extra damage to humans worked. And then, so before what I would use instead of the Red Spirit Crystal was I used to use the Harpias. And that would give five human damage and then a little bit of extra HP. Now I use the red spirit ones because it is slightly more. And honestly, HP recovery is kind of irrelevant. And uh, <laughs> I think just straight up to 25. Does it really help you even more? Uh, not really. But I mean, overall, I think this is more damage output and higher survivability. I don't need HP recovery. So I think this is very solid for me. Um, one thing, 
if you guys are thinking about changing anything, if you don't care about resistances, again, this is for PvP, what I would choose is more... Um, like, if you don't care about like extra things like this one, the adamantine and the giants, here's what I would pick up. Uh, where is it? I actually don't remember what it's called. It is the Red Battlefield Viper, because that's extra damage to humans plus 10. You could also have Power Crystals, which is just more damage. Or you could have, I think, Ignore Knockback and Ignore Grapple, depending on the class you play, are very strong options. So, or wait, not Knockback, Knock Down. Yeah, this one. These are very strong ones. Um, so, Ignore Grapple. Some classes really do rely on grabs to do well. So I think this is important. Knockdown is more for a general one, which I think is very good. For Dark Knights, it's a little bit less relevant. I don't think it's bad for Dark Knights. It's just we're relying on one ability, and it's kind of expensive for the crystals. If there's like 300 mil, I think by all means go for it. But yeah. Um... Yeah, if you just want straight damage, just look for those. And there's one other. Yeah, the Dark Red Fang uh, Valor Crystal. Straight damage. And so those are your other options on whatever price point you're going for. So ultimately, I think these are good. So if you just want straight damage, these are also good alternative options. All right. So those have been my PvP pve crystals uh this one is for life skilling i would put whatever okay so let me start by saying look at these crystals and whichever life skill you enjoy doing get those crystals get two of them it's three percent times two one second hit me with a five or it can give me a four anyway so 6% would always be nice. And what I do is max energy plus 10 times 2. I don't think this is really relevant. I just kind of have it because I have a lot of open slots in here. Movement speed, once again, irrelevant. But this one is probably the most important one. Um, durability reduction resistance for life skilling. And the reason why I think that's important is because obviously if you're gathering over 500 energy at a time... Uh, you just get that extra time so you don't have to repair it, which is really nice. Overall, I do think it's helpful, and these crystals are really cheap, so if you, you'll you basically make your money back in probably like one or two gathering sessions and, <laughs> and just like off of repair costs in general. You will absolutely make your money back in terms of gathering, but yeah. Uh, EXP. Literally, if it says combat XP plus percent, you add it here. And so the crystal effect is basically like 240%, I believe. Oh, let me see. Okay, so you look at the applied crystal effect at the bottom, and it's basically 200%. That's a lot. Of okay, so here's how I stack XP. So you turn this one on, right? And wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah, this one doesn't even matter. So anything that you can get for extra XP. And then you would use light stones, the four wind alert ones for combat. So that's another uh, 300 or 400. So that's like 600% XP right here. And then... Any other buffs that you have stacked up, like let's say you have a 530 scroll, another 600, 200, and then just literally another 20%. Uh, Black Spirit buff, Tent buff, Tron buff. So you, that's a huge stack of XP. So if you're trying to push a level and you want XP, that's how you do it. It's a lot of XP, actually. So, and then the last one is my beginner one. And these are all just like crystals that I wouldn't mind breaking. And so. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, 
I have a total of eight of them, right? Just want to make sure I don't have any. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I am not using a weaker one. I wish they would give you more than 50 crystal slots. Like, I'm going to be honest, 50 is not enough. <laughs> and yeah, just add more. And so, yeah, everything else, the basic crit damage ones instead of the corrupteds, basic precisions instead of L cars, uh, special evasions instead of gins. That's the difference between like 1.3 billion and regular hooms instead of the like the expensive hooms. But anyway, those are basic crystals. And before we head out, I want to talk about one more thing. I want to talk about their arena of soul air and I'll go over my gear and the crystals are less relevant, but uh, this is how I am so far. I only did about like a day. Of, today is Thursday, so arena of solar wasn't open today. And so I couldn't play. But anyway, here's basically my record. And before we go over anything, basically all of these like MVP, I would I was doing the most and another MVP. I, I still think they should change how MVP works. So the way it works right now is highest KD. I think you should have a mix of damage dealt, debuffs, and KD all in some formula. And then even the loss right here. Ace. Another MVP. MVP. We lost this one, sadly. And I'll talk about that in a second. So that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, so my two losses are because I had Shies on my team. And I want to make it very clear that I don't think the players of the Shy are bad at all. I'm sure they're great players. However, when it comes to gear cap arena 3v3s, Shies are not really that good, in my opinion. Or at least with my comps, anyway. And so I'm sure these players are very good. I just want to make that clear. But I just don't think Shies are that good in gear cap situations. And it's not the player's fault, it's Pearl Abyss's fault. So if there's anyone to get mad at, it's them for having trash balance. And it doesn't matter how, if you get the extra regen and the extra like thousand HP from a Shy, when you're getting like mega tanked by three heavy DPS and your Shy is doing like no damage and just eats everything, it's very hard to win. Like, I'm sure these people are good in anywhere else, open world or something where their gear matters. But like, just look at this. It's just so awful. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Yeah, having a shy on your team, no offense, but it's you're kind of probably going to lose. I'm sure they're great players, though. So anyway, with that said, Let's look at our gear and crystals. So, 256 is the uh, net highest bracket we can go to. And so, I use an often in a gear cap. Now, usually I would say that often is very bad, but in gear cap situations, this is a, a little bit different. So, yeah. And then, obviously, you should always use the Nuver in PvP. This goes for Arena of Solaire and... Uh, open world where your gear does matter and so this is basically the default versions uh, the things that it would give you on default for your dandy is the whom crystals now i changed this to the red alukas because they as we talked about before in my other real gear uh, these give straight up more damage and that's very good so i like that I already know that my role as a DK is Glass Cannon and CC Bot, sort of, anyway. But anyway, that's what we have. Um, the gloves, we have Perforations. I think these are new. And by default, it gives you Vipers, which are 40 extra accuracy, which I think is solid. I don't think these are bad at all. But I've been testing uh, Plunder versus Perforation. And the ones I use is ignore all resistance and attack and casting speed 7% and 5%. And this one is more damage, ignore all resistance is lower. 
and critical hit rate is up so i think these are both very solid options but the one thing i've been testing is ignore all resistance so basically if you try to cc someone with like a wheel of fortune or something higher chance of them actually getting cc'd and floated so i think that's very important cc's in this game and getting the v out for people is pretty important so yeah i think these are very solid options you are giving up accuracy but like realistically most people in gear cap are using relatively the same gear and so yeah that's what i use um and my shoes by default they give you two adamantines and here i use giants and adamantines i also use these crystals in open world and real gear checks so i use this in gear capped and real uh for your helmets, I've actually been thinking of switching out the Harpias for whom or like whom's to Harpias, but I don't know. Like it's one of those things I'm still testing. Do I think I need whom's? No. Uh, more damage would also be nice, but it'd make me pretty squishy. So it's really one of those don't get CC'd or I'm being kind of things. So I don't know. Once I get more coins tomorrow, I will test out the Harpias. Uh, the rbf ones that is and so this one is a new one that they added earlier so if you are wondering what the difference between these two are so look at the top under the 88 dp just look at the evasion and dr you may be wondering like hmm, what's the difference so the slumbering sages armor will give you more dr and less evasion and as a dark knight you are dr so you use the slumbering sage one your evasion Chances are, it used Dim Tree Armor. So, as cool as these are, I think this uh, Pilgrim's Crystal is probably for, like, I don't know, maybe Guardians, because they can fly, or Shies. That is very exclusive. So, but ultimately, for by default, I think everyone should just stay with Special Evasion Crystals. These are the defaults, and I think these are very solid for every class. So... Big change on the perforations right here. This is probably going to be your hardest choice of what you pick. Um, I don't think Jin Vipers are bad at all. I think they're actually pretty good. But I think with my play style, I want to CC more and everything. And then with crystals, or not crystals, accessories. Um, pretty standard. Let's go AP. I did try the um, Lunar. However, the difference with this one in the Lunar is... Um, you're losing or you're going down an AP bracket, but you are getting like 16 more accuracy. And once what I said before, the 256 AP is a new bracket. So um, I think 256 or 257, one of those. But either way, uh, the Ogre will push you up into the new one. And that means I can use a... Uh, oh God, double bosses. I got to do those. I gotta wrap up this video then. So anyway, I could use a Turo Belt for more to make up for the accuracy that I lost with the perforations just a little bit. And so I could use Turo instead of this one and still keep the bracket. That's why I use a Turo, minus one AP, whatever. And then I stayed with Tungrad earrings and the straight up AP stuff along the way. So I think that build has pretty much worked out for me. Um, still have a few crystal things to test throughout the season of Arena of Soul Air, but I think for the most part, like, literally my two losses so far are because I had Shies on my team, and yeah, blame Pearl Abyss, it's not the players, like, I'm sure they're great players overall, but that's about it. But yeah, overall, I think I'm doing fine, this is basically my damage, this is my first one, I didn't, didn't do so great for the first one, but anyway... Second one, um, MVP, most damage, most debuffs, everything. Another one, most kills, mid on the damage, big CCs, perforations, pretty nice. And then this one, most damage. We lost, though, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this one, another MVP, most kills, most damage. I also think Succession is better than Awakening uh, DK in Arena of Soul Air. In real world, both options are very good. This one, 
this one was just kind of like a complete dumpster and uh about it but shy on my team we got rolled on this one i'm gonna be honest <laughs> and final one about where i'm at in terms of damage so overall i think dark knights are pretty solid in terms of damage it's not a problem but uh gear comp or not like gear comp player comp is probably the most important thing and so yeah that's about it so just hope basically arena of solaire in a nutshell is hope you get a good comp more than the players <laughs> like obviously the players help too but it's just do you get a moose on your team do you get a zerker do you get a warrior valkyrie big shield damage classes you're good to go get a shy there's a higher chance you're losing it so with that said these are my updates hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed it and what are your some what are your arena of solaire experiences so far are you enjoying it i think actually like i know i'm probably not gonna make top 100 i play this very casually but what i want to do as a goal throughout the entire arena of solaire season is uh i at least want to make the i want to try to push for at least a top 20 in the dark knight class realm i literally don't know how this dude is 1670 with five games there's no shot that what the heck you're 1670 with that one like when i look at everyone else and then yeah i think like all i, all I have to do is win a few more i could probably hold uh top 20 overall if i play a few games every every time this day is open so yeah that's about it hopefully you enjoyed it with that said i'm gonna go do some bosses and i'll see you guys later